Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Cool Collectibles, back again for the next uh, Revoltech Ninja Turtles review, this time Michelangelo. Um, so here he is in the packaging again, same sort of stuff as the other Ninja Turtles, so you see the full set there. I love the uh, spinning action nunchucks there, which is a nice addition. Uh, cool comic art on that side, um, pictures of the figure and the accessories, um, love that example. <laughs> pose there um, and there's the alternate head sculpt with the which is just a, a smiling one this time which is pretty cool and a few explanation notes on the joints which um, I'll probably have to try and understand and uh, talk to some people on the the forums and so on about exactly how I can um, adjust these joints um, and what not to do so um, there's plenty of examples of what you can sort of do, um, you know, using a pair of pliers to sort of gently twist those around. I think that what I think that's what that's saying anyway. So um, I've uh, started playing around with a few of the joints, but um, I'm getting a little worried that I'm going to push something too far and snap something. So, uh, uh, but either way, I'll get to to that shortly uh, with this particular figure anyway, and uh, I'll take him out now and uh, give you guys a closer look. Alright, just a quick look at Michelangelo straight out of the packaging. So again, he's got the diorama base with a street sign this time, which is pretty obvious. I uh, like the spinning nunchuck, which I think you attach to that. Um, but the other two nunchucks are here. And the figure itself, uh, which looks pretty cool again. So I'll uh, take them all out and uh, give you guys a closer look. Alright, so out of the packaging, uh, just a quick look at the accessories. Again, it's got the dice diorama base with the street lamp which I think is probably the best one so far um, and you've got the hole there and you pretty much just uh, slot it in there um, and again with the others it's got the uh, Revoltech joint here for you to plug into the back of the shell um, to have him jumping around on that uh, along with the others which is pretty cool so stay tuned for photos on the, um, the Facebook page for, for all of that uh, it comes with the spinning nunchucks look, which uh, I think is really awesome. So it comes with this uh, the handle, which has its own little Revoltech joint on it, that you can see there, and bend that and so on. So I think you just, uh, I'm not sure which end, probably that end, just stick it in there and uh, you can have him pretending to um, spin that around, which is uh, pretty damn cool. Um, it's the first time I've seen that sort of feature on, on any Michelangelo figure anyway. Um, and here's the nunchucks themselves, which uh, do have a metal chain. Uh, it does look like it's metal. Uh, but it is pretty damn thin, so um, I wouldn't want to be tugging or, or doing anything too, um, too drastic with, with that chain, just in case something snaps. Uh, but again, the handles are really nicely painted. Got the little gold diamonds there and the brown sort of leather look. Um, so these are really nicely detailed and painted, and you get um, two of those obviously. And again, you get the alternate head sculpt, uh, this time the smiling one. And I love how they've got the little freckles um, just to differentiate the paint up a little bit. So um, overall, another nice addition, and you just plug the, the bandana into there. So onto the figure, and he's pretty much like the others, articulation wise. So again, you've got the bandana at the back there that's got all the, the full articulation, um, and you can move the bandana to move the eyes. So you can sort of, oh, let me just see if I can loosen up that joint. There we go. So you can sort of move his eyes to the right there. And then move it back. Uh, this one's particularly tight, so I'm not going to try and force it in case I, I snap something. But uh, you can, let me see if I can, there we go. So then you can move it um, and it goes back the other way. So uh, you just have to gently loosen that up a little bit. Um, but the head sculpt's pretty much the, the same sort of articulation as the others, so you get the forward down movement uh, which goes a long way. It's on like a, a double hinge joint um, like all the other Revoltec joints um, so you can sort of put it down and then have him looking quite a fair way up as well which is pretty damn cool. 
Um, and again, same sort of neck as the others, apart from Donatello, uh, which I haven't reviewed yet, so I'm stay tuned for that. Um, and there are differences in all the, the paint apps. So if I grab the others, you'll see um, that's sort of a slightly sort of duller brown with a few cracks in the shell, where that one's nice and smooth and a different color. And even with um, Leonardo here, you can see there's all slightly different shades of um, brown for the shell. And the back is also a slightly different shape. So you can see uh, Raphael there is slightly rounder, whereas Michelangelo's uh, more oval um, and similar to uh, Leonardo's here as well, which um, if I can get him in camera is a bit more oval as well, so um, I like how they've got that sort of variation uh, but everything else um, is pretty much the same I'm just trying to get a look at the green paint app um, I guess the even the uh, the body colour is slightly different uh, Michelangelo here is probably the lightest of them um, with Lee, um, Leo and uh, Raph here being quite dark green um, now I'm not sure if that's uh, perfectly accurate to the cartoon or not, but um, I like that they've got um, at least some sort of difference in the skin tone. And the head sculpt, again it comes with those little freckles, which is a nice detail. And I love how Michelangelo, being the, the clown of the group, um, has got the big smile, uh, which suits the character perfectly. Um, Revoltech joints again. Um, same sort of deal, um, just be careful how you articulate it, everything along those seams is on a ratchet joint um, and you can sort of rotate them as you can see there and I think you can rotate it on the other side as well but uh, you just have to sort of be careful how you rotate them because uh, uh, I was a bit scared on a couple of the other figures that uh, I might snap something uh, but because there's just so much range of motion you really just got to um, try them out so Every joint has one of those little ball things, uh, the Revoltech Revolution technology joint. So there's shoulder, elbow, the thumbs and the fingers there, the hips and the knees. So the knees, um, you know, you can articulate them, you know, a fair distance there. It leaves a bit of a gap, um, as I said before, but um, in action poses you don't really notice it. And here you get the full range of motion in the, the ankles with the rotation back and forth and the, the rocking action. So you can get them in all sorts of uh, action poses. The um, Let me see, you can bend that down. That one didn't click, but you can bend it down. Um, you can feel the friction there. So it does snap the, uh, the shell in half, uh, which probably isn't totally accurate, but uh, in action poses that's a, a nice option to have. Um, and overall, just like the others, the attention to detail in the paint app is um, outstanding. Uh, this one, oh no, here we go. He's got the uh, side things here to, to hold the nunchucks instead of at the back that I'm used to. Um, but uh, no big deal there. Um, so you can sort of put him back and have him sitting fairly flush there. Uh, what else can I say? Um, this time he doesn't have the hole in the hands for some reason for, for the nunchucks. Um, all the other guys seem to have holes in their hands. Um, but I'm assuming, uh, I guess with the, the shorter handles they can probably hold them fairly securely without uh, too much issue. Um, what else can I say that I haven't said in the other two reviews? Uh, not much. Um, they're pretty damn awesome. So I'll just uh, zoom out quickly and uh, give you guys a look at... Um, so there's Leo and Raph and you know once you set them all up jumping around um, it'll be an awesome display. So for around $40 um, directly imported out of Japan uh, you can't really go wrong with these guys. I mean the articulation is just outstanding. Um, really the only thing you just need to be careful of is, you know, I think the instructions talk about how you can pull those out and, and gently adjust them and rotate them and so on. So uh, you just got to keep that in mind and um, uh, adjust them until you get the, the right pose and pretty much uh, leave them on your shelf. Um, that's pretty much it for Michelangelo. Um, hope you can click that subscribe button because uh, I've got one more coming in this particular line anyway with Donatello. Um, so he'll be coming up uh, next. 
um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.